Just arrange me anyhow. Oh, 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 later, you fit evil flog me. No, Allah. Yeah. You go to respect yourself. I don't allow this kind of thing. I know, yeah. I know they pay my debt before. I better calm down. Madam, I better don't waste my time. Okay, calm down. I know your money are they arranged. Yeah. Yeah, I better anybody if you arrange me um extra money, I take my bill down. You know they ever hold. Now the problem be that. You know they ever hold. And you know go ever hold. Don't get now, babe. Don't fight me. No, 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 no. Because my turn are the artists that they give. Now may God they bless me steady. Yeah. I beg. Oh, yeah, give me. Give me this money they give you. Next time, use the legacy best. You don't get money. Now, nah, babe, give me this money. Just finish it. Don't carry money. Now, for forgive. I'll stop your mouth. Madam, wow. Madam, why did you do like this? Not be your money at the arrange. Don't you waste my time. I'm the. Calm down, yeah. How much do you need now? Uh, seven days. Uh, eight. Uh, madam, what do you need now? Now, what's your answer for there? Manager, 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 you talk manager, 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 Oh, my God. 
Babe, see, calm down. Just calm down. Your blood to the hot. It didn't all be ready. Calm down. Chop your food. Chop this food where you spend time to hustle. But babe, chop and balance. When, when, when the food finish, we go find another way now. Listen, listen, listen. If I go do this, go go. You don't say those things. You want just. When we get to the bridge, you know how to cross it. Not just calm down. Chop your food. 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 This afternoon. So it was a hood mistake giving my house to, to, to four jobless girls. No. I was here last three weeks and I gave you up to this week to pay my house rent. Or you be you be, if you forced me to throw out to, to throw it out from my house. You took my took my one for 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 child play. No, no, no. We, we didn't mad. I will take your one in grown man like you. Honorable sir. Honorable sir. Why you take your one in for child play? We did crazy. Yes, yes. Yes. Business, uh, my business colleagues. When they when they bring the money. Hey, you see the ogre don't pay. Okay, you don't pay. Hey, correct. Thank you very much for this information. Will you just give me now? I said, I go, go bless you. See, you make I tell you, you go get promotion to another place. But you don't get promotion, pass me for inside our office, may know. So that means my money is ready now. Let me have it. Let me have it. Yes, sir. What we're trying to say is that money is What nonsense are you talking about? What, what, what nonsense is this? What nonsense is this? Hey! 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 I don't like this. I don't like this. What I know, I will be, be, I'll be back here next week. It is either you give me my money or I send you out from my house. Okay, look at it for a Give us more. Give us more money. you come. You look at a woman sympathy. Hey! Your heart. Hey! Hey!
What's the scene? Girls. I I want to I want to really talk to you guys. I I, I just want you people to give me listening ears. Go ahead. You see what happened here today? It's not a joke. I do not see it as a joke. The landlord came in here and his mission was to embarrass us because we do not have the house rent to give to him. You can imagine if she didn't act like someone who was epileptic, what would have happened? We would have thrown our things out of the house and the neighbors would have come out and start laughing at us. Imagine, big girls like us. We do not have money to pay for our own rent. And the next day we will come out and we'll be laughing and everybody will be looking at us like just big girls and all that. But not big girls anything. We don't have money. And if you ask me, I will say we should stand up and look for a job. Because next time, when this man will come here again, I don't think that what happened today that he will buy it. It's like let her even start acting like somebody that wants to die now and tomorrow. I don't think he will answer us. I want us to sit up. Let's look for a job. Let's look for something to do. Let's not let's not give up. My question is that, I mean, what do we do? Just like you said, I mean, how do we raise money to pay him? Because it's going to be so shameful and disgraceful if we are thrown out here. Seriously. You know, sometimes I, I wonder the way forward. No job. No source of life in you. All we do is just wake up every day and sit down. You are practically living from hand to mouth. Four graduates living in one single room in this kind of environment and we can't even pay for it. Um, I mean, this is crazy. I mean, it's crazy. It's so unfortunate and sad that we live in a country where the government does not care about the social welfare of its citizens. I mean, if somebody has told me that after three years of service, we will still be living here, trying to feed from hand to mouth, to the extent that we cannot even afford to pay our house rent, I would have doubted it. Let's see where we are. I mean, struggling, I mean, suffering. So crazy, seriously, it's crazy. You know, when someone sees the way we loiter around the streets every day, endlessly, that person will think that we're lazy. That person will think we don't have no motivation, no strength, that we're useless. But who will tell them? Who will tell them that there's no, no office in this Lagos and Abuja that we haven't gone to in search of a job? But all to no avail. All we keep hearing is no vacancy, no vacancy. Try again next time. But who will? My mother will tell us that. My mother wouldn't just understand even when I try to explain to her. She considers me a failure already. She doesn't waste time to compare me with my mates who are doing so well. You're even talking about yourself. How about me? My mother thinks that I'm a failure. Because I can't afford to, to provide money for the family or even support them financially. She even called me a failure. It's, it's really crazy. And I don't want to be like that. I want to make money to support, support my family. Guys, it's okay, it's okay. Instead of analyzing our already known problems, 
how do we kick poverty out of our lives? You know, I have a lot of things that have been running through my mind lately. I thought about prostitution. What? Prostitution? What for me? No, no, no. I also don't agree with prostitution. No. What about armed robbery? We're talking about something serious here. You're talking about armed robbery. Prostituting. Okay. You know what? We, we can we can become general criminal contractors. What about that? General, general criminal, criminal contractors. contractors. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, I mean, there are different different levels to criminality, in it? There's blackmail. There's fraudulent misrepresentation. There's there's kidnap. There's even hand robbery. Oh, or we can become hardened female assassins. What do you think? All these things are lucrative ventures. What lucrative ventures are you talking about? And how on earth do you think that we can handle that? Of course we can. If you look at it, in this country, everyone is a criminal. From the little boy you meet on the streets to the high senator sitting up there. Everybody is a criminal. We are all thieves. We live in a corrupt environment. We cannot make money if we ain't criminals. We need to take, we, we, we need to get part of our national cake and me. What are you all thinking? Listen, as for me, I am going big time into the streets and I'm going to get my dough whether the devil likes it or no you feel me if you believe in what I'm saying please let, let's have a toast we are going into the streets and we are going to get our money Queen I don't care what it takes I am hitting the streets to make money We are hitting the streets to make money. 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 Another thing to have a perfect time and plan to carry it out. Um, you know, that is what I've been thinking since last night. All the criminal activities we mapped out that we want to carry out in order to make this money. I mean, how do we go about it? How how do we how do we Go about it. Okay. I hope you guys are not planning on going on phone snatching again. Of course not. I mean, who is ready to go back to snatching our phones when it's not going to give us the kind of money we're looking for? Listen, what I think to show you is since we have agreed to go into the streets to get us I think we should start this morning. Yes. Going to the street to send all of us to our ears to the ground. Open our eyes wide like an eagle. Set on a target. See where things are happening. Let's track. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. I'm sure by the time we go into the street, we'll definitely see what to do. We'll see something. Exactly. Let's we'll see something. Yes. Who else has made this morning? Yes. I do my spirit infused. 
You know what? I can't find a move now. Ah, we must yes. see it. Please leave me. Let me just. We must see it. Can we at least have breakfast? No, babe. No. Life in the street can be so hard, can be difficult. So you gotta hustle, you gotta struggle just to make it in the streets. Oh yeah. Just one minute. Let's see what we have. Honestly, I am so so happy. I mean, look at what we are making. Just one hit. <laughs> Honestly, I am so so happy. Oh Imagine what we are getting from one hit well accomplished. Mm -hmm. Imagine what we will be hey. getting from jobs like this. Hey. Then we're going to compete now. We're going to compete with all the workers. Hey. You don't understand. Happy. I totally agree with you. This is one lucrative ventures that we must all put our effort into. Ah, I'm so, so happy, seriously. <laughs> ah, um, but, um, wait a minute. How do you get to meet Mr. Osi and uh, Harizé? Yeah, how do you get to meet them? Sure. We're actually sitting at the bar mm -hmm. And these guys walked into the bar. And they were talking about one deal like that, and we said, okay, you should just approach them and tell them we can do it. That was it. Immediately they were going out, we just approached them and told them we can actually do it. They looked at us like, what, what are they saying? At the end of the day, they now told us that, okay, fine, that we should just do the deal. And that's said, Wow! Trust me, we did pretty well. Ah! Yes! What are you talking about? That was a beautiful performance. And I'm sure we're really impressed Mr. Osi and his friend. Of course! Yes! <laughs> girls, girls, girls. I feel happy they because of this million. Stay here. <laughs> we need to put body and soul together. Mm. Cause just one hit, mm. we have this. Mm. Mm. Many more hits. Hey! It's mm. the way. We need to be ready. Mentally. Physically, physically, spiritually, what are you saying? <laughs> hey! We must shut the city down. Everybody is a city. Money must obey. Whether the devil likes it or no, money must obey. The streets will pay. Why people must obey? And as I'm going after you, when you ask me, bring it. I can be holding the money. Hey, hey, hey. This is crazy. Oh, I cannot do that. Hey, 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 not too much stress, so we just enter like that. Just a bridge like that. Let me tell you. 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 Let me tell you.
Oh, my, this can make sense. Oh, no. Die, oh! Zinji, yeah. clean, die! Oh, yes, this can not make sense. How <laughs> you yes. mad? I <laughs> tell you, this kind of paparazzi. Sparkling. I don't see Bomboy go price this car well, no. Because you know what they wait you. Hey, this guy be like Bomboy, so. Bomboy, they smoke wow. something. No, I they pay. They crazy. I they pay. I'm even not going to be like that. But babe, smell bad, so. Because yeah, this guy go don't report this issue to the police, so. I'm sure they be looking for this car everywhere now. Smoke bad, smoke bad. Just to disappear. Babes, you see that man? That man, that cheap lady, that cheap nashaw. He didn't wife for house finish. Couldn't they follow girls because of waste? But son, they wait to now you waste this man they see you. Calm down, which waste? You see, I know the man they look at. Oh no! <laughs> Say the man they press me, they compress me everywhere. I don't know who know what to do. Now my cheek. This man they just, you just enter in anyhow. I'm so proud. Babe, I caught him for you. Hey! I didn't cut too much. Hey, now hunger, I used to enter. Don't forget to get on the hot <laughs> Naza. Hey. Naza. What's the problem? Why you know they talk? At the usual mood swing after operation happy. Naza. I don't feel you. Naza. Naza, I've told you to try and get used to this kind of lifestyle. To try and get used to this kind of business. See, I don't tire to dream Gary as you see me soon. I don't suffer. I don't see hell. I need, I need your brain. Or do you think we're enjoying this kind of business or this lifestyle? How can you we're not. Understand? How can we be enjoying this life? We are not enjoying this life. I mean, every day we put our lives on the line. We do all sorts of criminal activities just to survive. All this is that make we survive now. That is exactly what the society deserves. This is what the sad does. If you need that stuff, <laughs> our youth service, we, we got quality job. What do you mean quality job? If we got job now, job now, we won't be doing this. I mean, I will like crime pass. Now! Not true. Eh? Now we fast. Eh? Politicians they thief. Um, police they thief. Everyone is just a criminal in this in this country. What do we just do? We just a thief. We not even just collect. Now collect to collect so. We just want to possess our possession for this our father's land. Listen, it's just that. Seriously. Calm down. I always feel bad anytime we go on the street. Hate people and collect what does not belong to us. I feel terribly bad. And I am not doing this because I want to do it. Because I feel joy in doing it. I know it's because of condition. But how long are we going to continue like this? Because I am tired. Honestly, I am tired and I do not want to continue. Baby, you know, only pass me all. Calm down. I don't tell you, man, you can't take a cheap pill. Calm down. It will like out. I don't beg you before. I don't tell you, say, just one mega hit. It will stop this criminal activity now. This is a useless life. Abi, don't use her mind enough money when we do our generation. Let's stay up. Tell them. <laughs> Yes, sir. Hey, uh, boy. Where are you there now? Mm -hmm. So, um, make we meet for treasure hunt, Abby. Oh, okay, we'll show. Okay, just, just give me small time. All right. Girls! Babes, now come back. Make, make, make we they go. Where are they from? Where are they wait for us?
Do they like me? Do they like to do to do the cheat or subscribe to the other one? Eh? Because you know Sabika, I make you want to talk all this. I know they like him. Don't worry. You be a regular customer. And now you they bring all the cars over the hijack to. Huh? And anytime we come here, they always treat us like trash. Eh? Imagine you calling that machine names. Check her out now. It makes sense. But you know, say that car looks so much flash. Hey. I beg you, no, they are yarn up my towel. See, hear me so. How? I beg you, see how they talk. No, don't make sense. How much you won't give us for the car? Just the the car. If like I make call on ninety eight, how much you won't give us for the car? Because as me, I'm like, they are fifty seven hundred. Hey, who talk that nonsense? Who talk that nonsense? What is you like? Why they for my level now? No, we they do this thing. Auto say, we na family you. See, we don't get joy in the episode. Now, bicycle you want to buy? Check and balance, Sam. It's good. I mean, it is so easy to steal car. What did they bring on this level now? No, no steal and no. Just call her or something. Guy, yeah. yeah, I'll tell you something. If you know if you bring one M, forget her. You did hear? Bon boy. Yeah. One M. Let me the last. Guy, if you know if you bring her, you forget her. Go carry the car, go sell another person. And no why did they do like this? One M. No, no thing will happen. I pay 900. So I won't give us last. I'll go feed, get the money. Because you get a show. You still want to chop on her. You still want to chop on go back, okay? No, 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 Money. How much is this? Just one year now, friends. Oh yeah, you're always shouting. We are somebody's children. We are somebody's daughters. Uh, uh, yes. If I have jobless, useless daughters like you, I will disown them. You cannot have daughters like us. Ah, what dash monkey banana? See if you are alive. Hmm. I'm mm. tired. Okay. Mm. Not tired. Mm. Okay, lad. Let me tell you something. Mm. You see, for this life, right? Mm. Experience has taught me that you do not look down on anybody. Thank you for English. Because no one knows tomorrow. Thank you. Here's your money. <laughs> mm. Don't be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you would have told me you have my money for a long time. You will not receive it. Huh? Receipt? Uh, uh, you don't collect my money. I will send one of my boys to bring receipt to you. Wait, no way, you're not you're not stepping an inch. When you came to collect your rent, didn't you call to you that you will go with the receipt? Huh? What is your problem? You get lucky because you're passing for power. See, I'm going to For this country, for this Nigerian will be here soon. You get something where they call tenancy rights. We say, you get rights. Because we say, a human being. They hear me so. Leave us no way enjoy it to be free. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. The bonus is that you can make it. I'm going to go now. 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 I'm going to go now.
useless. This year surprised you. Eh? How did you manage to get this time on? So how are you? I'm doing well. I'm really missed you. Very good. Uh, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. What about your friends? I hope they are all doing great. Yeah, well, they're trying. I've been asking them for leaving my workplace so that I can come spend some quality time with you. Oh, that's so lovely. That's very lovely. So, was it granted? No, not yet. But I know that very soon. Don't mm -hmm. worry, do do that very soon and you'll come and see me. Okay? Okay. Uh, uh, baby, uh, if I may ask you, you and your girlfriends, what do you do for a living? Ah, we own a very big shop in town, like a salon. You mean the four of you running together? Yeah, the four of us, because we all specialize in different kinds of things. One more thing. I keep wondering how four of you cope in this small room. Don't you think it's too small for four mature grown-up girls? Okay. Enough of I and my friends. Why don't you talk about you and me? So you can leave my friends out of this. Baby, they are fine. Maybe you are getting it all. No, but that's the truth. You've been talking about I and my I friends all the time. I just for you to get angry. Okay. Since it has come to this, let's just forget it. Mm -hmm. Just forget it. All right, you're forgetting about me. Baby. Do you know I love you so much? I love you too. I look forward to that day that you will say I do to me. When the priest will call me to the altar and ask me to kiss my bride, oh. I will gladly kiss you before the whole wide world. I will kiss you for everyone to see. That's where you want to. Mm -hmm. mm. You are so beautiful. I know. Can you just wait for that day? <laughs> so much. Love him, right? Oh. Enjoy you, man. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, he's a very nice person, and <laughs> I think I love him. Love is a beautiful thing. I'm happy for you. That you're in love. But always remember that it's too dangerous for you. You should never, ever give him any reason to suspect or even doubt for a minute that you're not who he really thinks you are. Because he will run away when he finds out who you really are. It is very dangerous, my sister. What is good for your sister?
Life in the street can be so hard, can be difficult. So you gotta hustle, you gotta struggle just to make it in the streets. Oh yeah. No get joy. Jail streets. Jail streets. You see the reason why I don't want to redo this thing when they do. Thank God we escaped. Because I don't know what would have happened to us. If Chief had caught us, what would have happened? We'll be cooling our asses in police custody by now. How? Hell. Anyway, um, Neza, please, you and Lisa should go and get us chill drinks so that we can cool off this heat. Because oh. we, es we just escaped near that though. Oh. For this Lagos. Hey. Ah, but yet, say I go jail for this town. See, you know the thing, eh? We could be a bridge for our neighborhood. Not as bad. Hello, pretty ladies. Hi, good afternoon. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. I am Louis, the chairman and Chief Executive of Louis Group of Companies. <laughs> yes, my name is Queen and this is my girlfriend, oh, Sandra. Oh. Oh. And um, we're students, um, we live around the corner, we always come here <laughs> to relax. Oh, yes. Nice. Uh, I was actually observing to me from there. Mm. Really? I must say, I love what I have seen so far. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I like them girls. Mm. Um, look, I love them ladies. Mm. You do? Nice. Pretty ladies are me. Yeah. And most importantly, I, I do them too. <laughs> oh yeah, I do them too. Oh. Oh. Do try give me a call, okay? Um. Um. Yes, um, do it. Um. Hey, I'm sure this could get you some drink and yeah. snacks. Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll just manage. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Do have a great day, ladies. Yeah, have That's a nice right. day, sir. Bye. <laughs>
Welcome, Mama. So, you're still here reading this thing, eh? Look, let me tell you. This thing will not take you anywhere. It will not. Other responsible graduates are out there looking for a meaningful job or in their offices. But your own is different. Just enjoy lying here, there's nothing about. What is your problem? No, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this, Mama? Why do you do enjoy hurting me with your words? Is it any fault of mine that I'm unable to get a job? Then you try harder. Try harder, I said. I know what I went through seeing you through school. And having you remain in this house with me is a very big burden. You better wake up to your responsibilities. Nonsense. I'm coming from Mama Maria's place. Hmm? These are the things Maria bought for her mother. And she gave me some. You see? No, no, look at it. Can you see it? These are reasonable and responsible children. Daughters! Who want to take care of their families? And not you. Useless thing. Who just sit here and watch me? To keep feeding you as if you are still in secondary school. Is Maria not your mate? Is she not? Just less than. Hey, sister, why is Mama always treating you like this? I go play, play. I just, I just gave you pick to play. She goes out and say the children of our friends do everything, but I'm just, just here doing nothing. It's not your fault. Please, please don't ask me, please. Please see what I mean. Let go. It's okay, let me know the time of my life. Everything will be fine, okay? Everything will be fine. It's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. Very nice. I don't finish my food now. The food is nice. What's my food? You must have come get your food yourself from the kitchen. She said that. That was what she said. Okay. 
was not included in the budget plan of the food when it was made all that it's time you start catching for yourself which of them tell me mama what you are doing to me is not fair mama it's honestly not fair why are you making like this river not be a for me mama why are you doing this it's not fair this is just the beginning I've not seen anything yet. By the time I am done with you, you will learn your lesson. Since she has refused to go out there to look for a job like other responsible girls are doing, I have to keep her busy in my own way. I have to keep her busy in my own way. Sleep here. God, you are washing. Hmm? Hmm? Wash them very, very well. The stained ones must be clean. Um, one more thing. When you're done, go to the borehole. Make sure you fill up all the empty containers in this house. That is the only thing that can guarantee you eating in this house today. Give a helping hand. I saw all that she did to the clothes before bringing them to you. I'm coming, let me go. I just don't understand my mind anymore. She has really changed. Treating her. How? Mama, it's not any fault of Sister Sandra that she has not been able to get a job since two years after her graduation. 
You're really frustrating her with the way you treat and talk to her all the time. Will you shut up? What do you know about life? Huh? Your sister Sandra is just being silly. Asking her to get a job after two years of graduating. Is it a crime? So that she can be useful to herself and to all of us as a family. Huh? But mama, she's trying. Those that work is difficult to find. Our country, Nigeria, produces more graduates every year without producing any employment for them. Mm. Work is hard, eh? But girls of her age are working. Isn't it? Um, okay, let me ask you. Do you know, you know Tina, Mrs. Chuko's daughter? She works with Shell. You also know Amanda. Um, what's her name again? Amaka. Uh -huh. Amanda's daughter. She works in Abuja. She drives big, big cars. How do they get their own job? Can't she get her own job same way? Mama. Her immediate younger sister. I mean your elder sister, Maureen. Is she not working? You know why your sister just been silly? And lazy. It's because she can find a place to rest her head, eat food, sleep, eh? rub cream. Whatever she wants, be given to her. That is why she doesn't want to do anything. But she continues to behave this way. Eh? By the time I am through with her, she will take to her heels. But Mama, destiny differs. The way you're treating Sister Sandra in this house might push her into getting into something bad. You're an idiot. A complete idiot. That is what you are. Now listen. If you like, don't learn from this. When your own time comes and you behave the same way, I will treat you the same. Are you hearing me? Mama. Don't mama me. Are you that mean? Get out! I said get out! I feel like don't learn from this. Pack it very well. Uh, that's why I said you pack it very well. Pack it well. Okay. Oh, my sister Mori. My hey, sister Mori. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 my sister. 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 You need to give me your hand here. Yeah? Alright. Yes. Look at this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Mama! <laughs> Mama! Mama, my daughter! Hey! <laughs> no, Mama! My wonderful daughter! Uh -huh. eh? hey. How are you? Mama, I'm fine. Mama, how are you? I'm okay, I'm okay. Don't, 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 don't. You're not looking bad, eh? <laughs> Maureen! Oh, Sister Sandra, how are you? Good afternoon, I'm fine. Mm, you're obviously looking fine. Look at you, looking bigger than me. <laughs> really? Um, mom, mom, mom. Yes, I better talk to me, Jerry. Eh? Don't mind this job, bless me. So, how are you? How is work? I'm, I'm fine, Mama. Um, let's go inside, eh? <laughs> bring this in, ma. I have bring what is heavy. Don't worry, I'll carry it. Bring it. No, don't worry. Stop, so come, let's go inside. Mom, mom, my daughter. Mom, hey. you're welcome, eh? Thank you, Mama. Hey. I'm back. I am you're back, back, my daughter. Yes, I am back. And you know what? I got this for you. All of them. For me? Yes, ma'am. Hey! 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 Wait! Mama. I said for you. Hey! 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 My daughter, God. God, 
I thank you. Hey, it's not easy. Eh? Tell me, which mother will not be happy to have you as a daughter? I am very proud of you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. Thank you. you see, sometimes I wish you were my first daughter. Not again, Mama. Not again. Please don't start. Thank you. Huh? Thank you, my dear. You have to waste your money buying something for a uh, jobless person. She doesn't deserve it. Too. Do you have to say that? Every time you're talking to Sutafan, then I'm Hey! Hey! Are you serious? That's good, Sutafan. Mm hmm? Like, it's really good. She's got a good job. Wow. I am happy for you. <laughs> You're really doing well for yourself. Don't do what you do. It's okay. It's okay. You can join me if you want to. Mm. That's very nice. Mm. And um, I'm praying for a salary unit. Mm. Yes. Wow. Let's see. Honestly, that's nice. That's nice. Very very nice. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, it's too early for this. I am not ready. It's too early, Mama. I don't know. The Bible says, He who does not work should not eat. You are not working, so you shouldn't eat. Please don't do that. Please. Hmm? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Your younger sister is the one bringing money to feed you. Hey! Abomination. Drink! It's okay. I, I, I should be used to this by now. This is one of the things I go through in this house every day. Every single day. What? I'm so sorry, sister. I thought Mama has stopped this. Her attitude towards you. Sister, did you say sister? Yeah. She needs life miserable for sister. Something this is on daily basis. That's really bad. Sister. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Beat. Oh, I'm fine. I'm actually not smart at that. I'm just going to leave you two to my job. This thing that Mama is doing is not fair. I'll be calling last time. Mama, I'm Friend, eh? I say why you called us here. I want to go to bed early. Wake up for tomorrow morning mass. It's unfortunate that two years after my graduation, I am unable to get a job. That is why I have been treated like a slave in my father's house. You are an idiot. A complete idiot. That is what you are. Is that why you called us here? Are you not ashamed of yourself? <laughs> Two good years after your graduation, you've not gotten a job, and we are proud to say it. Let me ask you, who is blocking you, by the way? Is it Maria, your younger sister, that has been taking care of you, buying things for you? 
and also feeding the whole family. Eh? When did she finish that she got a job? Why can't you be like others? Look, let me tell you. This is my own husband's house, eh? If you are tired of staying here, you better go to your own husband's house and stay. Mama. Hey, don't mama me there. Let her finish. Am I holding her? I can't take it anymore. I am losing my mind. I have decided to leave this house. What? Yes, Mama. I will leave. Even though I don't know anywhere I'm going to, but I will leave this house before I I lose my mind completely. Sister, please. please you Are you begging her? Please, I beg you. I have to leave. I want to leave this house. I need my mind. Leave. I, I even want you to leave now, 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 now. Now, leave. Wow. If you like, go. You go to Kafanchan. You like, go. You go to Kotoria Guinea. I will not ask after you. Allow her to go. Mom, eh? Mama, what you're doing is not fair. It's not fair. Mama, remember she's still your daughter. Mama, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's even try to stop me because I have made up my mind. Sister, please. Please, I beg you. Seriously, I don't like who Mama is doing. This is not so This is bad. What's all of this? Parents push their children into doing so many bad things. What a wicked society. My mother pushed me into doing everything that I'm doing today. I didn't pay for all this. I didn't plan for all this. Yes. She just finished her youth service and she's looking for work. Yes. Yeah, you really said so. Um, can you work in an insurance company? Um, yes, Uncle. I actually studied accountancy in school. Mm -hmm. And insurance is part of the course of study. Very well then. Yeah. Then I see what I can do for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Honey, let yeah. me take her time. That's okay. Come on, let's go.
Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. I have good news for you. Good news for me. Thank you. sister will not be home at this point in time and uh, what I'm not going to discuss is something we cannot discuss in the office. Really? Yes. <laughs> I, I hope all is well. Pretty well. Okay. I want to tell you that uh, I really like you and uh, I'm not going to be together you know, wrong things. <laughs> do that. You are my sister's husband. And how on earth do you expect me to now turn around and date my sister's husband? God forbid. You see this You have so much to gain. Eh? You see, I buy you things, you know, clothes, whatever. I can even help you or get elevated in the office. No! No! This is completely wrong. Uncle, this is crazy! I can't do that. Don't touch me. With all due respect, don't touch me. Oh. Oh. Listen. And listen very attentively. Whatever happens between us should be kept between us. Nobody should hear about it. On no condition should your sister get to know about it. Because if he does, you never like what I would do. Again, if you want to continue working in that office, you must yield to my demands or else you're fired. Nonsense. What's wrong with you? How do you mean? You've been keeping to yourself all this day and often moody. What is your problem? Eh? What is wrong with you? Um, sister, I'm fine. I think something is wrong with you. This is not you. Sister, I'm fine. I'm okay. Please excuse me. This is not my sister. She has told you that she's fine. Eh? She's fine. You want to put words into her mouth. Obi, she's I... fine. That's what she said. Obi, I know my sister. Something's wrong with her. You don't tell me about her. She's my own junior sister. You forget about her sister. Let's talk about herself. Forget you, my own sister. You're not serious. You promised to get something from me. Where is it? 
This night, this night, hey, I'm going to the first one. I'm serious. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm serious. Is that true? Yes. Not really. You listen. <laughs> How do I tell my sister that I have lost my job because I refuse to sleep with her husband? He has threatened to deal with me if I tell her. And if I do, this will break their home. I don't have to do that. I don't want to do that. Oh, God. Maybe it's time I leave here the way I came. I'm sure that there will be opportunities for me out there. Living here will keep making this place hell for me. No, no, no. I have to go. I have to go. Even if it means to go and join my old school friends, Queen and Sandra, I will. I can't keep living here. No, I can't. I have to go. God will punish you for this. God will punish you. You will not see good. God will punish you. You are a very wicked man. Oh God. You will live to regret this, Uncle Vincent. This guy looked and sounded rich. Very rich. Like, very, very rich. Yeah. I think he might be our mother. <laughs> what do you think? Ah, I should give him a call? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Why don't you just call him and let's see what he has to say? Mm -hmm. Just call him. Hello? Um, hello, Mr. Lewis. Um, oh, yes, um, good afternoon. It's, it's me, Queen. You know, one of the girls you met at the fast food last weekend. Uh, yes, I, I was wondering if we could get to see you again. Mm -hmm. I mean, we still, we, we still around the... We still have VGC. We're all VGC. Hello? Yes, yes, exactly. My friend and I, two some. No, 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 it's not, no, it's not, it's not surprising. It's just that it sounds crazy and no, not to yet. I know what you guys like. The thing is, I have to talk to my girlfriend, and um, then we'll get back to you, okay? All right then. Bye. <laughs> Wait a minute. I overheard two songs. Exactly. He wants to sleep with you and Sandra. And I hope you are not agreeing to that. Are you mad? How? Oh my baby, this people fall over the level now. We said we're not prostitutes, isn't it? We we'll agree. But on the second thought, the if this man is ready to drop a, a lot of dough, why are we objecting? Mm hmm. Why they give me that colloquial eye? Why are we not saying yes? Accept. Accept that. <laughs> yes. 
If this man is as rich as what you say he is, he is. I see nothing wrong with it. Huh? Are we not street girls? Didn't we say we are going to do anything to make money? Exactly. Eh, babe, it's time all. I mean, all this baby, they drive the big, big Omar G. Bridge River Sports. It is a fire witch. It's some of a Hey, my chief. No, my chief, do you want me to do that? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going be like there, they they do it. Oh, they shy, shy, I be. Let's bring the real. Ha. In the ring, in the ring. Calm down. What I tell you something here. You see these ones? If we run sir, the kind money we will go home man. Come on, don't be here, oh! I didn't tell you.
babe. My match the cash. My babe. Take off. My babe. They don't know you. Oh. Hey. Did they dream? Babe, you say you still allow? Babe, still allow? This is like the gas is built. I just bust like that. You allowed yesterday, why remember how they take borrow top from our hand? You don't understand. Let me tell you they talk with that. Now I'm allowed to cruise machines. I'm allowed to brush the phone cards. You hear and wear and slang the way I said before I collect. You're allowed to get sent up for Italy and Spain. Where did they run things? I don't be a believer. Hey, we're like, so good in the day. I said, I'm not going to sleep at that time. Eh? Hey! 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 You see this money? Hmm. It is time for us to I don't stop. Oh. Don't oh. Now. Oh. We don't oh. give for water. We no go to enter our eye now. You know, know yes, but the rank is singer. Me say nobody we no feel. We go still make it. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, Teach me, my friend. Teach me how to do it. Yeah, I've been trying to do it. 
Mama. <laughs> my daughter, my beloved daughter. Hi. Mama, how are you? <laughs> 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 Is this how you think I just did transform somebody all of a sudden? <laughs> my dear, you've seen it now. Eh? When I was telling you to go out there and look for a job. Eh? Mama, I hate all you. the artists in the Mama. past, forget all the eh? things. Forget hey. all the <laughs> things. I'm so happy, my dear. Welcome back. Welcome. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. So, how are people in the city? How is your job? Mama, everybody are doing things fine. Yes. I bought you so, so many things. These are the personal things I bought for you. For me? And the cab outside, that the cab that brought me, I brought all the things we needed, all the food stocks, everything. So, you got mine. Oh, who's that? Favorite uh, soup. Uh -huh. With uh, stock fish and uh, chicken inside. Sound with the. Uh, <laughs> you see, that is why I did not call you. So that you don't share the glory with me. Eh? <laughs> I want my daughter to enjoy her mother's favorite soup. You never cease to amuse me. So, Sister Sandra deserves all this now. A daughter, a beautiful daughter of mine that went to the city in search of a greener pasture has returned home with a lot of good, good things for her family. Hmm? At least she should be appreciated. That is what your mother is doing right now. <laughs> I want to appreciate my beautiful daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see. Hey. But Mama, to ask her what she's doing for a living. All you're concerned about is the money and the things she, she brought home. Hey, what concerns me concerns her what, what she's doing? Hey, look at this girl. Why do you like to talk beyond your age? Does it matter what you get using for a living? As far as good money is coming out of it, doesn't matter. Work is work. <laughs> Let her do the job there. <laughs> Sister Sandra was, was your worst daughter before now because nothing was coming from her financially. But all of a sudden, because she now brought things from which source we can't attest, she's now your favorite. Mama, what you're doing is no good. What then are you teaching me, the younger one coming after them? I am teaching you to be useful to yourself. So you're not questioning me, Abby? Eh? Are you based 
telling me? Hey, get out. If you like me, your own time come. Eh? If, it, if your time comes, do yourself. And I will treat you like one. Whatever. Get out. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, Savior. Thank you, my dear lord. Where is this stupid? Go come and bring plates and the other things. Come on, let's have your sister food. So, sister, where do you work now? I I work in a bank, yes. In a bank? Yes, I so fast. <laughs> okay. How did you get the job? Uh well it go. The thing is I, I met an old friend back in the university days, you know. So he connected me to somehow he just connected me to somebody that connected me anyhow. And I just mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. just like working in the bank. <laughs> so you're lucky. Yeah. Mm, I'm happy for you. I thank God everything is over now. Everything is indeed over. <laughs> hey, my daughter. Hey. Mama. Hey. Mama. I brought you more meat, eh? Mm -hmm. Because I know you, you love meat a lot. I prepared this for you. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. They're all for you. <laughs> Mama, this meat is too much. Give Ego some. It's not too much for you, see? I prepared this meat specially for you. It's not for Ego. Ego stays here with me and she has been eating meat all the time. Hmm? No, Mama. So, Mama, you only brought out of this eat. You only brought meat for Sandra. Yeah, I haven't been giving you meat. <laughs> eh? Allow <laughs> her to enjoy this one and now she's around. My dear, I'm coming. Let me go and check what I put on the fire. Eh? <laughs> hey. Finish it for Don't give her. I will. You are now Mama's favorite. <laughs> I know you want to take. <laughs> Thank you, sister. Thanks. Mm. Well, Sam, let me see you in this house. Huh? Mm. You have to miss me. I'm walking now. It's not very boring for me. Mm -hmm. You're still awake? Mm. I'm still awake, my daughter. I have a pressing issue that is disturbing me. Mama, I hope all is well. Mm. All is well. Mm. I don't know if your sister Maureen has told you that uh, men are beginning to ask for her hand in marriage. Oh yes, um, she did. She did tell me. You see, I wouldn't want you to set a bad record. As the eldest, you should get mad before any of them. I don't know if you're thinking towards that direction. Mama, it's a good thing to get married. Marriage is a good thing. And every girl will be glad to get married. Marriage is not one of my priorities for now. I have so many things in my mind. If Maureen finds a man that truly loves her, she should go ahead and get married. I'm not ready, Mama. <laughs> Please, just don't tell me that. We have a tradition, which is our way of life here. Huh? The elders must get married before the younger ones. Please, my daughter. Um, in case you've not seen anybody, any good person, I can help you look for one. It's one that comes from, uh, that has a very good uh, reputation. Huh? Mama. Well, you, want to, now. you want to find a husband for me? Uh, is anything wrong in that? Oh, come on, nobody do that. <laughs> huh. 
Don't worry, Mama. I will find a good man for myself when the time is right. The time is right. Now, 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 now. <laughs> You're a full-grown woman. What else are you looking for? What else do you want? Please. And uh, listen, let me tell you. I wouldn't want you to go and marry or this or judge her at them. Hmm? Make sure you marry a very, very, very rich man mm. that will take care of this family. Mm. Eh? Mm. <laughs> that <hurt> you. <laughs> I will do just like you said, Mom. Uh, is it a promise? Yes, yes, I've heard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you said you'd be going back tomorrow. Exactly, I'll be leaving tomorrow. Okay, let me allow you to sleep now. Mm. Hmm? Uh, I need to go and rest. Good night. Oh, good night. Sleep well, eh? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the reason I've always warned you about this love of a thing with this boy. No, no, see. What is wrong with you? Can you even begin to imagine what we have lost? How many millions of naira we have lost? Can you even imagine? I'm disappointed at you. Now that he has seen us, I don't even know how to face him. So I can see. How do you face who? If let's say you are called for Tuesday, you are so far away here. Now I believe there's something wrong with your head. Now I know you have gone mad. How could you? We are here talking about how much money we've lost, and you're here. Talking about how to face the fool! Come back, girl! That's what I said. That's you and I do. One girl or two head at me. One girl or two head! That's it, love don't make you. Now, bounce me. Listen. Don't break, don't knock. Do I explain to him that I am not an armed robber? Now he'll be thinking, he'll be thinking I am. I don't want to lose him for anything in this world. He's the only man that I love. Robbery with them. 
You want to kill yourself? Look. Jesus, bro. You have to let us go, please. You have to go. Leave me. Oh boy, you have to help yourself. Stand up. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, he's So, arm robbery and car snatching is the beauty salon you and your girls own in town. I said it. That my instinct would never lie to me. I knew there was something fishy about four potential graduates living in that kind of environment. That apartment. Oh my God. Yes, you are. And a lying one at that. Now tell me, what do we call one who use arm to snatch people's car and terrorize them? I am sure you and your friends are behind the recent car snatching in town. That is no excuse, Nazar. Humility has no defense. There are over a thousand jobs you could have involved yourself into since you couldn't secure any meaningful employment. If you're upright and have the fear of God, you would have sought for something meaningful to do. Something that would have made you your own boss and make genuine money. have come when the youth of this country should stop hiding themselves under the shadow of unemployment and bad government to do evil. Naza, from this very moment, it is all over. Time have come 
when the youth of this country should stop hiding itself under the shadow of unemployment and bad government to do evil. Naza, from this very moment, it is all over. You girls may not know my face, but must have heard about me. I am the Madam K you've been hearing about. Yes, it is an honor to have me in your midst. Well, I have heard about the exploit of you four. And the whole city is feeling your heat. And that is why I brought this deal on the table. Mm. This is a target. I want you girls to kidnap this little kid for me. Be as we have said, girls. Bye bye. All right. Take care. Take care. <laughs> I'm so, so happy. Yeah. These are the kind of jobs we need now. Mm -hmm. It's the kind of job. Listen, I don't think kidnapping a small girl is a good idea. What the f is wrong with you, Naza? Are we doing this for our own sake? We are trying to execute this contract. Because he has a juicy pay and we cannot resist at this time. Irrespective of the juicy pay, what I'm saying is kidnapping a young girl is not good, irrespective of. Hmm. Madam K, you've been hearing about. Yes. It is an honor to have me in your midst. Well, I have heard about the exploit of you four. And the whole city is feeling your heat. And that is why I brought this deal on the table. Mm. This is a target. I want you girls to kidnap this little kid for me. Oh. Let it be as we have said, girls. Bye bye. All right. Take care. Take care. Mm -hmm. ah. I'm so, so happy. 
these, these are the kind of job we need now. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of job. Listen, I don't think kidnapping a small girl is a good idea. What the f is wrong with Chunaza? Are we doing this for our own sake? We are trying to execute this contract. Because he has a juicy pay and we cannot resist at this time. Irrespective of the juicy pay, what I'm saying is kidnapping a young girl is not good. Irrespective of. Hmm, why is it that anytime I'm talking, these people will think I'm. Am I going mad? When you people have to understand what I'm saying, I'm not a mad person. Princess, you must be princess. Yes, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Bless you. Please, you must be Miss Balogun. Yes. Okay, I have come to pick her up. You must be the sisters my aunt sent to pick me. Oh yes, 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 yes we are. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Hmm. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. grateful I am for the job handled professionally. The Reverend Sisters that were sent to pick her up reached there and she's nowhere to be found. As we speak now, everywhere is in crisis about the missing child. Well done girls. Thank you. Thank you. Here is the balance as we are doing. And something additional for a job well done. My boys will come and pick her up later. So it's nice to do business with you. Exactly. She just can't give us the living. <laughs> 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 just carry me the living. Just give us a living. You don't understand. It's just free. 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 Like I've always said, there is nothing in these criminal activities you guys are doing. It brings little pay and plenty of troubles. And, um, Honestly, I want to introduce you guys to a more lucrative business. Mm -hmm. Yes. Really? <laughs> so what kind of business are you talking about? Um, it's all about selling of girls. You know mm -hmm. what it is in Italy? 
Selling of girls? Mm, not actually. You can call it child trafficking. But where back then is spent? We call it selling of girls. Oh, how? How? You know what I mean? You are a child. As in opening and closing, you, you have so much money in your pocket. Wow. <laughs> and that currency will take place. Wow, babe. Hey! <laughs> in all my days, I've never for one day thought about this line of business. And from the way you're talking, it seems there's lots of money involved in this. Mm -hmm. I beg, I won't, I won't make you a shape more on the details. You know that, Stan? Like, break it down in our own language. People, they understand how you come from. What and what do we need to do in order to belong to this? Because I'm the red o. They find money. And I tell you. You know that, Stan? I got you, babe. I think I owe you guys that. And you take a good look at yourself. You got it out here. Oh, all down here. <laughs> and you look so good. You know what I mean by that? It's just oh, popping up. But well, that's just, um, that just by the way. Mm. But the more important thing here is that, honestly, I disagree with where people are staying now. Oh, I really mean, like it one bit. It's very, very important. You guys have to, like, you know, look at us from here. So that from there, we will like, now. Yeah. So where you want me to stay now? Mm -hmm. Sweetie, good place, good customers, good everything. Everything in one. Mm -hmm. and, mm, 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 mm. You got that. So let's start with that. Girls. <laughs> 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 what do y'all think about? About what Lola said today? Um, to me, it seems to me that like a kind of business that would do well. At least it is better than placing our lives on the risk. Each time we go out there for an operation. Mm, yes. You know, it's still the same, the same business, you know. This is like a better street hustle. Like a corporate street, street hustle, if you ask me. <laughs> exactly. A corporate kind of business. Mm. Yeah. Laza, what do you think about... What is wrong with you? Why are you... Why have you been so quiet ever since we got back? Is everything all right? Naza, I am talking to you. What up? I want to quit. Quit? Quit? Yes. I can't continue battling with my conscience. I can't continue living this kind of life that we're living in. This same life that we are living in, I lost my cherished relationship. A man I love so much. A man I would have married because of the same stupid life. I want to make peace with my God. Yes. I'm, I'm tired of stealing. I'm tired of carrying guns. I can't continue like this for the rest of my life. Each time I, I lay my head down, all I think about is the atrocities we have committed. I want to quit. And I know that God has given me the strength to quit will also give me strength to carry on. Even if we have um, gross unemployment in, in our country, I just want to quit. I am not used to this kind of life. And I ask all of you to quit. Quit! Hey, be it good or bad, so get out from your evil so that you don't have tomorrow to pay. Get
get out, get out, get out, change your ways. Life in the street, life in the street. Babes, I'm sorry I am not interested. Since you guys have decided to go on with this kind of life that she has given I don't think I would want to associate with you. Mother, hey. Mother, you they make me laugh. It's just they fuck up. They fuck up anyhow, Naza. So now born again, you form, so Abi. Abi, I wear pants, why? They form born again, join, Abi. Hey, <laughs> nothing will happen for this kid, for you. Huh? Nasa, collect your own share of the money and stop at this table. Since you have refused to join us in a new line of business and move them on us, you decide to, to remain here. You obviously made this scandal to stop being here. I was not joking when I said I do not want to belong to your cartel anymore. I wasn't joking. Do not need this money. Okay. You guys really need to understand it that I don't need this money. I don't. Meanwhile, thanks for your concern. But as far as I'm concerned, I do not need that money. You can have it. Naza! Naza! Can you imagine? Tomorrow, it's paid that time. Be it good or bad. Eh, be it good or bad. So get out from the ways So that you don't have tomorrow to pay Get out, get out, get out, change your ways Now we have set the action in place I think the next thing to do is to start hunting for girls who want to make the yeah, exactly. And also start creating awareness to let the whole world know that we're doing a program for your girls. Exactly. A program that is meant to develop, educate, and enhance the social, physical, and psychological well-being. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> By the time the world gets to know about us, we can start selling the girls to those who want them. And at the same time, get public support from governments, individuals, parastatals who believe that we are fighting with justice by keeping those girls here in a place like this. <laughs> um, so when do we begin the hunt? I know exactly what to do. Well, I, I think it's just like now. Start. Anyway, um, I am just gonna quickly get ready, then we will go. Okay, okay we'll all get ready. Yes, 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 let's get ready. Thank you. 
so good to see you. See me, baby. Thank you for coming back into my life. You know, actually, when you left, you left with my heart, my joy, my happiness, my everything. I couldn't cope anymore. I really leave you totality. I want to give you a little space for you to change your way of life and also to see everything right about yourself. And I'm so glad you did it. When I got your message that you have told me you leave, I was so excited. <clears throat> I had to live the bad life I've been living. I had to make peace with my God. To come back to who I am. I wasn't living my life. It was all out of frustration. As you can see, my my friends has left me. They are living in their own lives now. Yes, your friends. Where are they now? They've left and. They've gone to their own, their own house actually. They're living in a different apartment now and, and they are into a different business altogether. Find me a What kind of business are they doing? They're into girls trafficking. They call it selling clothes. It's really terrible. Moving from one bad business to another business. I don't know. I just, I just wish they could turn and give me. It's so sad that they have continued to live with their own way of life. I just pray they come out of this. I pray so too. I pity those girls. God, what is happening to our society? How can a 60-year-old man devote a 10 years old girl? Why are some men so callous and useless? When you live by the street, anything can happen. Thank God I survived when I passed through there. Could it be that during our time, there were no bad men in the street then? Hmm. I wish there is something I could do to put young girls permanently off the street. Hmm. Hey, Jiro. Bring my food in my room. Street. I got a call. 
call two days ago that this boss raped these three girls and in the process one died. Hey! What a mess! What a callous attitude! Why would these men allow these young women that are trying to survive to be? Why? Oh, come on, Barista Chibot. You talk as if you don't know I was a street girl before. I lived in the street, I came out from the street, and I survived it. Yes. Please, once you get to the office, do let me know. I'm coming there right now. I'm taking up this case for these ladies. Thank you. Hey, you know, get my bag. I'm in the car. So you gotta hustle, you gotta struggle just to make it in the streets. Oh yeah. I've been thinking. It seems to me that we have only succeeded in walking down the streets, gathering all the homeless, abandoned, helpless young girls, keeping them here and feeding them with our hard earned money. Which is totally different from our initial plan. You know, if someone believes it would have up to this moment, no one has come for adoption, contribution, or donation. No one. Exactly. That is where I'm heading to. The reason is simple. No one knows who exists. We need to create an awareness. Do enough media hype. Do some interviews with TV stations, print media houses. By so doing, people will get to know about this novel organization. Mm. Yes. I think you have a point there. Yeah. You know, by um, advertising more of our products, we will garner enough attention. Mm -hmm. Thereby showcasing and garnering followers. Who can donate to our organization? Exactly. You're right. Really right. Yeah. We should do that. I will be telling this one. Well, girls, I have put up an interview with TV stations and um, some print media houses. So by 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, we are heading to Bright Plain Media House for some interviews. Wow. Really? That's really nice. <laughs> you did that? Yes. Well, that's well done. <laughs> so it was a really nice step. Yes. Everyone's so nice to register. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's a good one. <laughs> so, that's how we roll. Hmm. We have to start off with somewhere. Yeah, because this is really important. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I must give you a plus for this. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming down from the office. Ladi! 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 Crime never pays, it will never pay, cause there will judgment day. Oh, there will be judgment day. There will be Good morning, distinguished viewers. Welcome back to another edition of the show of everyday people on your darling station of Brightfield TV. On this program this morning, I have three beautiful ladies with me. Miss Miss Ajunata, Miss Queen Umachuku. And Princess Sandra Owner. Owners of Home for Young Girls is a center established for the less privileged, the orphan, and the hopeless young girls on the streets. Okay, so I'm starting with you, Miss Faye. 
What so is Faya doing this establishment called so, Strengthen? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, you know, in our country today, it is um, everyone for himself and God for all. And the government of the day does not really provide social welfare for its citizens. So, me and my group, we decided to open up this center for young women, you know, to aid in extracting the girl youth from the streets. Okay, wow, well, thank you very much. So, um, do you have any other things to add to that? Oh, definitely. Well, the whole idea is to just um, put young girls out of the streets, give them a comfortable home and take care of them. Okay, and um, mate, Lita, do you have something else to say? Mm. In addition to what my friends just said, you know, problems for us and we should supply the world to the world. There is every need for the man to decide to move. Came to understand that there are so many problems in the world that have no one to go to. So we set up this home to assist them and make their dreams alive. Oh, wow, that's good. Um, so, um, how has it been so far? How many girls do you have in your center? And then how do you raise funds to take care of these girls? Um, so far we have lots of young women already in this um, center. But financially it has been very difficult because we have to invest a lot of capital into aiding them because they have diverse needs, diverse orientation, yes. And um, this is the reason why we agreed to this interview, you know, and then we are hoping that by talking more about our foundation, we will employ the heart of counter-tech citizens of this great country to assist us, you know, by donating generously to this organization so we can, can help us to please and everyone and um, helping this young woman's dream come true. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So, um, Miss Sandra, do you have any other thing to say? No, to do seven. <laughs> oh, okay. My so friends, we have fun. These are exactly things they can actually do. Get out, get out, what is this one doing? Hmm. Look at how proud they were. Hmm. Hmm. Thank God I left them. They don't know all of this that they do, all this vanity upon vanity. Look at this. I'm so, Queen. I'm so happy you know. Lisa and Sandra. I don't think they can change. They are doing their own Life can be so hard, but everything will be fine. It's just a matter of time. Edilo! Edilo, where are the papers I asked you to buy? Okay, I've seen them, don't worry.
Wow! These young ladies are doing something normal. They truly need to be assisted. I wonder. Where's the address? I must pay them a visit. I need to support them. Yes, good afternoon, Najee. What is it you want to tell me? Ma, there is a girl out there. She says she wants to see you. A girl? Yes, ma. I hope there's no problem. I don't know. But she said the woman she's staying with is not treating her. And the woman wants to give her out to one old man. But she ran away. What? Yes, ma. Please go and get her. What is your name? My name is Ngozi Ma. Ngozi, how did you find her? Ma, a man who always comes to my madam's shop to eat advised me to come look for you. After he saw how my madam was maltreating me, Ma, he said you have suffering street girls like me. That's why I'm here, Ma. You may sit down. Where can a woman be to a girl who is young enough to be her daughter? Look at the kind of scars on the girl's body. Some people are just wicked. The poor girl needs help. She needs to be taken care of. Where will I keep her now? Maybe I should send her to home for young girls. Yeah, maybe that is what I should do and then support them adequately. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my ladies. I am so glad a place like this now exists around us. I must commend three of you. Thank you. You have no faintest idea how effective this is to this time. Queen, please come forward. Vex is my little way of saying I acknowledge and recognize your efforts. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. My truck, my car outside, a whole lot of items are there in my truck. Really? Oh, the support <laughs> of your sight. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Yes. God could you. Amen. Amen. People like you are highly needed in this society. Yes. <laughs> we want to encourage us that do good to our nation. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, ma'am. We really appreciate this. It's been so beautiful. Wow. <laughs> thank you very much, madam. I'm glad to be here. Wow. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. You're a good woman. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Um, who was it, ma? Vince, please. It's a new home. And these people you see here are your parents now. And guide you. You'll be comfortable. And you'll be happy. Okay? Go. <laughs> She's a very pretty girl. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down here. Yeah. We'll take good care of you. <coughs> we have lots and lots of girls like you. Exactly. And they're all happy. Because we're very Nice people. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, madam. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, Soon, eh? oh, really? She was the one that told me that you girls have relocated and also oh. have changed the line of business. <laughs> and I'm like, what's up? And that's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to come and see my girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we need that to upgrade. That's so cool. <laughs> wow, look at my girls. <laughs> that's so good. Wow. That's so nice to see you. So nice to see you. You all. look so well, darling. <laughs> but where have you been? It's just shuttling around the world, you know, London today, oh, yeah. Paris tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. Italy next. <laughs> oh. You know, I have this business lately where my girls do stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm trying to set up another one in Paris. Oh. Really? Yeah, that's why I actually came back because I need some girls. And uh, knowing that we're in the same line of business now, yeah? See, I have a uh, urgent need for a girl. For an assignment in Paris. Um, yeah. okay, um, like, say what age? Say between the ages of 18 and 23. Oh, we should have that. Yeah, we have that. You do? Yes. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. I mean... Oh, would you like to see them today? <laughs> no, I don't have to see them now. My friend is actually waiting for me, so I'm gonna go see him, but I'll come back. So probably tomorrow. Is tomorrow okay? Yeah. 
Cool. Great. Oh, fine. 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 You're welcome anytime. Anything. Yeah. I stick the stuff down and stop. Let's see you, baby. Look, even if I come around tomorrow, yeah? After the whole business talk, I want you to go with that. Oh, my God. Yes, it's so long. Oh, my God. Let's have a repeat of this shit that we used to do yesterday. Yeah. I see you guys around. 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 Yeah. Where did he just come out from? Is this so bad? That's bad. Where's the ball, please? Where's that ball? I don't even know which life is. The one I was living before or the one I'm living with. Please stop blaspheming. What do you mean blaspheming? I don't understand. Eh? I barely feed. I can't even wear good clothes. I left crime and 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 other useless lives and embraced embraced good life. And now I do not have a job. I do not have good clothes. I do not have money to feed. My friends that are still into crime are making it. They wear good clothes. They ride good cars. Travel to one country to the other. Spend good money. And yet, they've not been arrested. Look at me. I am here, feeding from hand to mouth. What exactly do you want me to do? What? Now, yes. Yes. These are trying years. But believe me, if you can be strong and overcome this moment, you will surely have the last laugh. It is true, your friend has, might be swimming in pounds and dollars. But what matters most is the end. Which is better? Why don't we wait for the end? Because the end has not come. At least they've enjoyed themselves. Look at me, oh graduate like me. I do not have a good job. I can't even fit. I have been wallowing in, in, in stupidity. Going from one office to the other looking for jobs to no avail. For months now, all I do is feed with yam. I eat yam every day, morning, afternoon, night. Yam. I'm even owing this woman. I'm married to naira. I don't even have money to pay her. I don't have money to pay her. Naza, souls and pain may come in the night. But for sure, Joy comes in the This is not joy. This is so just calm down. This is so. I am losing it. I'm going mad. But can't you just listen? I cannot listen to you! I'm ready to do anything! Naza! Naza! Alright, girls. Straight to business. Can I see your merchandise? Mm -hmm. Um, definitely. Um, we'll get them out soon. Ladi, mm -hmm. please bring the girls. There will be consequences. Consequences. Consequences after. Consequences. Consequences after. Mm -hmm. They say. They're hustling because they are struggling. They want to live a better so cool. life. They desire oh, the best boy, things of life. <laughs> it's always curious <laughs> to choose a life of crime when you know, I know, know that the consequences will come in time. It is true that life can be hard, can be hard sometimes. And temptations can come at this time But the action we take And the decisions we make Can make a mark At the very end The actions we take And decisions we make
can make Oh my At the end Life on the street Life in the street hey. It's not easy It's not easy Can't yeah. offer to be lazy No, 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 But no. get busy But hey. what you get busy what with What you get busy with Really matters Cause really matter. there will be Consequences Consequences Consequences, consequences after Get out now, get out, get out before it's too late. Better get out, get out, get out now, or you might have regrets. Crime never pays, it will never pay, cause there will judgment day. Oh, there will be judgment day. There will be judgment day. Hey, there will be judgment day. You may enjoy everything today, but tomorrow it's payback time. Be it good or bad. Hey, be it good or bad. So get out from your evil ways. So that you don't have tomorrow to pay. Get out, get out, get out, change your ways. Life in the street, life in the street, it's not easy. Oh, oh, oh. Get offer to be lazy. No, no, but to get busy. No, no, no. But what you get busy what with, you get busy with, really matters. There will be consequences, 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 after. there will be consequences, yeah, consequences oh, after, 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 yeah. oh, 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 oh. Think of how I'm looking for. Like this one. Yeah, that's my choice. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lottie. Mm -hmm. I will take the girls back in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice collection of girls you have. She's not uh, specifically in my spec. So why did you choose this? Uh, well, well, for business. My customers are like them skinny, clean, dry, and you know, someone that looks like her. Okay, I understand. If she was for me, you know, she's not my choice. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a business. So, so shall we? Yeah, so, um, well, look at Yeah, she's class. So, shall we do a 20? 20 grand. $20,000 for this piece? Oh, no. I can't pay that. Listen, you said 30,000. Yeah. If it was the first girl on the road that I'm buying, which is my choice, I'll probably pay 30. But for that one, I'll give you a 10. How about us two? For this French girl that has not been touched, the fairly used ones, how much are they going for? Talk more of this French girl. You call her fresh? Oh, yes. She's pure. Oh, you checked? Of course, you checked. Anyway, oh, whatever. 
Anyway, I don't mean to argue much on, over this issue. The last and the best I'm going to do about this girl is fifteen. Fifteen thousand dollars. You either take it or you leave it. Do you? Cool. I'm going to issue you a check right now. As a matter of fact, I'm a very busy man and I don't have a lot of time to spend here in Nigeria before I jet out. I have to start fixing up her travel documents, flight ticket, and everything. Because uh, by weekend, I hope to leave town. Okay. Uh, that was nice to you. You know me. I'm a businessman to be called. <laughs> Anytime. Okay, ladies. I have to go, but I need you guys to do me a favor, please. Okay. Can you please clean her up for me? Please, make her presentable. Change her hair, her nails. Get her some new clothes. I mean, make her look irresistible to me. Uh, she be ready. <laughs> Don't worry, by the time you come to pick her, she'll be ready. I can't Thank you, girls. You're sexy mama. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'll see you that weekend when I'm ready to take her. I appreciate you, <laughs> Thank mama. You very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have to go now. I'll be back by weekend to pick her up, okay? Oh, great. Before they know her travel document will go. Alright, done deal. No so I'm gonna see you girls by the weekend. Okay. <laughs> I just wish another adopter would come and pick me the way the other man did to Ngozi. You're playing the wrong game now, babe. My goodness. Does someone wish to be me? Honestly, I'm wishing to be you. But seriously, I've been thinking of it. What about? About the man who wants to come and adopt you. <clears throat> what about him? <clears throat> Just wondering what a young man like that will want you for. Look okay, what are you insinuating? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking aloud. The last time I checked, this place is a center where homeless and helpless orphans are kept. We're hoping to be given out to families who want daughters for adoption. And not a center where young men who want wives can come and pick at any time. What is she talking about? Okay, what exactly are you talking about? What man is looking for a woman to marry? When he came here, did he say that he was looking for a woman to marry? Jen. Huh? Jen. Please, girls, let's not fight over this. I got the point Bookie is making. If anyone should want to adopt us, it should be couples, parents, or aged, childless mothers. Exactly. Not one handsome man before one gets raped. Explain, <laughs> <laughs> Jen. I don't have it though. Well, whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is this. I, Ngozika, I have been chosen. And there is nothing, I mean nothing, any one of you can do about it. Mm -hmm. Abio, whether young or old, I can't wait to be adopted too. That's my girl. Anyway, just pray hard like me. Who knows? It might be the next to go. Mm. As for me, I'm already soaking my chaplet in water because I also wish to be adopted. That's my girl. Yeah, come, food is ready. Come on. Come on, Auntie Lady. Thank you. 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 Th
That's the kind of news we want to hear. Yeah. Yeah. The kind of good wow. things we want to happen to exactly. us. Exactly. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, she's here already. Come on in. Don't be shy. Ngazi. Bye, <laughs> Come on, take that drink hmm? and have a seat. Go ahead. Come on, go ahead. She's shy. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, darling. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> go ahead, darling. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> shy girl. Oh. She's shy. First thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> We will be taking you to the salon where you make your nails, fix your hair, do your pedicure, your manicure. <laughs> we are giving you a new look, my dear. <laughs> Auntie, thank you very much. Thank you. I, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. God will continue to bless all of you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you see, the man who has adopted you lives in Paris, mm. a big city, beautiful city. <laughs> Unfortunately, his wife and only daughter died last year. Mm. Well, that's exactly the reason he wants you to come over with him, so you can help him take care of his home and his business. Mm -hmm. Auntie. Hey, yes, you. I'll be going to Paris. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. You see, you have to take Mr. Austin as your new father. I know him to be a very nice and a caring man. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure he's going to take care of you. He would take care of you. <laughs> Drink coffee. Enjoy yourself. Yes, enjoy yourself. Enjoy darling. <laughs> Auntie, I promise you. Very good girl. Very, very good girl. Yeah, I will not mess up. I will not disappoint you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and oh, by the joy. time you have a total transformation, oh you will be so fit <laughs> to go to Paris. Oh good girl. <laughs> Paris is not come easy. Oh my God. She's blushing. Drink up and enjoy yourself. Okay? Don't worry. Go on. Go on. Have wine. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful girl. Please, how may I help you, sir? Uh, we came to see Madame Daslin. Yes. Oh, sorry, she travelled today, but she'll be back next tomorrow. Oh, not again. Not again. Hope there is no problem, ma. Yeah, never mind. We'll, we'll come back next tomorrow to see her. Huh? Let's go. Okay. Okay, sir. Bye bye. I'm tired of these people, sir. Every day I see different faces seeking for financial assistance. Because my mother is very generous and a cheerful giver. Who knows what they want this time around?
Sandra and Lisa took me to a very beautiful saloon, eh? They made my hair, my nails. Then they took me to this beautiful boutique where they put me beautiful dresses and shoes. See your hair, your nails, even your hair. <laughs> my goodness. You go see. You're a beautiful man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. New designers in town. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I uh, have yeah, the thing is, I'll talk it. to my colleagues, then I'll definitely get back to you. How? Oh. Hi, guess, girls. I guess that was <clears throat> Dr. Luce. Um, yeah, he's the one. You know, the guy is still insisting that that business is a genuine one. And um, I think we should indulge. What do you all think? Queen, I have nothing against this business. I'm not just comfortable with the fact that you're putting all the money we got from Muslim into this. I thought we had all the plans. I thought we had some other things we needed money to do. It's just like putting all our eggs in one basket. I share the same view with Sandra. I mean, I don't think it's a good idea by putting all the money we've got into one kind of business. Yes. Come on, girls. Come on. There's nothing wrong in investing in this business. We're talking about a container load of chemicals. What hundred thousand dollars? That's a lot of money. And with this money, we can do all we have ever dreamed of doing. Like buy houses, buy cars. I mean, even change our line of business, you know, stop this illegal of, of women trafficking. And do, do something better with our time. Something less risky. Why don't we all see from a positive point of view? Why are we all being negative here? Besides, Dr. Oche isn't such a bad guy. Come on. Okay, let's just give it a try. Oh, so I think I should just give him a call then. Yeah. Fine, fine. Okay. So you're really sure that this is a very lucrative business? I have a sample of the chemicals already here. I just did it a bit. <coughs> with this line of business. But we are hoping that if we invest all we have into it, we will definitely make our money back. You see, it's about that. Don't worry yourself. I am very, very sure you will get your money back. You see, this is a business I've been into for the past 25 years. And as you can see, I'm doing marvelously well in it. You will never regret any couple you invest in it. Trust me. Very well then. I will talk to my partners and um, I'll get back to you on our final argument. Oh, that will be fine. In that case, I'll be waiting to hear from you soon. Definitely. That's good. Pardon my manners. Uh, what do I get for you, please? Oh, no, what? no, it's okay. That'll be another time because I'm actually very late for a meeting. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank yes. you. Have a nice day. Oh, yeah, you too.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My housekeeper told me you came looking for me while I was away. Yes, madam. Yes. Um, I hope there's no problem. I'm Mr. Fibia. Okay. This is uh, my wife, Julie. Yes. And mm -hmm. that's our little friend, Emeka. We've come to You're ask welcome. for our daughter. Your daughter? Yes. Yes, I our daughter. Know. Our daughter. Our daughter, we were told she was there for some time. Please don't be annoyed, mother. This is her picture. Oh, 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 oh. You are her parents? Yes. What happened? Why did you allow such a young and teenage girl pass through all this? Long, long story. Like I've been sacked from my workplace. What? Sacked? How? What did you do? Why did they sack you? They said the company was overstaffed. Jesus Christ. And they needed to overhaul the entire company staffing structure. So I was affected. So out of the people, they thought wouldn't have been relevant for them in their company. They, 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 it was you? I just feel like taking my life now. What? Listen. I have known so humiliated all my life. I, mean, I, I understand. I know how you feel, okay? Don't worry. Listen to me. Just listen to me. It is only your job that it took from you, not your life. Don't worry. God that brought that same job to you. We bring another job to you. But why me of all people? Why me? Me of all people? Why? I know. I know how you feel. Don't worry. You might not know what God has in stock for you. I put in so much effort to get this job. I know. I know how much you were walking around looking for the job. But it's fine. It's fine, okay? God will do it and you will get a bigger job than this one that will give you a big money. Life is hard, I know Things are not rosy, I know you were persecuted, you were tormented, and you were cheated, 
my own But that is no excuse To do the things you don't want to do Oh, that is no excuse To do the things you shouldn't do Cause it all comes back to you Be it good or bad It all comes back to you At the end Sometimes a lie for us to do what we don't wanna do. But don't forget that whatever you do, it's all on you. 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 Good or bad, do the right thing. Get on time. Find rest, I assure you. But if you go the other way, certainly someday you will, you will pay. Cause the end justifies the means I know, but it shall be good ending and not bad. Fingers crossed and sit down, we will not eat this time. You understand? <laughs> wow. Yes, Ngozi, your adopted father will be here later today to get you. Oh my god, that's the best of me, I'm so happy. <laughs> Every arrangement for your traveling has been scheduled this weekend. So you'll be going to Paris, your visa is ready, every other day has been fixed. Wow! Oh my god, So all you need to do now is go and pack all your things, everything you will need to get to visa once you come to go with I'll pack everything. Everything. I'm going to look at her. So like I was saying, you see, in this life, We're fine, you know, since we're doing this for our nation, we will take all the stress, there's no trouble. Exactly. It's okay. We're going to handle it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice job we're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Well, these are the parents of one of the girls you're having. Parents? The parents of one of the girls with us? Which of the girls is this? And it's me! Oh, it's okay! You go, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody tell me what is going on here? <laughs> I'm sorry, please. These are my missing parents that I've been looking for a very long time. Oh, I missed you. Yes, 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 my dear. My dear, you don't know. You can't even understand it. We've been through all the streets of Lagos looking for her. 
Four days ago, I was running around to get money to fly them, only for me to receive a call this morning that the goose, the, the whole thing were fake, contraband, and the chemical discovered to be killer substance. The goose was confiscated and destroyed by the tassels of the standards of the nation of Nigeria in collaboration with not that. As I'm talking to you now, I am finished. I mean, I'm finished. What are you saying? I don't get it. Wait, wait, you mean all the goods have been destroyed? What I'm telling you is that the goods were destroyed. Your money, my own money, other people's money, everything is gone. Every damn thing is gone. I don't, I don't just know that. Buy a pop up for you in one church one, one place like that. The man just chased me away. <coughs> Why are you behaving like this now? I don't like what you're doing. Now. You know, I bought all these things in credit. The drugs and the food, they are all on credit because I don't have money to take you to the hospital. And you're here wasting it. You see what I'm saying? I'm tired of this life, oh. Eh? I'm, I'm very, very tired. What kind of life is this? How can't I have money to take you to the hospital? I'm sorry. 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 I'
brother is more angry, okay? You see, your body is very hot. Your body is very, very hot. Or I eat more food. Okay? Just small. Eh? Please. They can boil hot water with your skin. Any luck? How? No! Stop it. I don't understand this anymore. Don't! Ah. Wait, let me try this problem. He's ringing, but he is not picking his calls. Really? Yes! Oh my God. This man should come and give us our money. This one is another wala. This one is another wala. Oh um, seriously, I don't want to believe what my instinct is telling me. I think, I think we should just go to his house. And since we know where he stays, I think we should just go. Let's go to his house. What's this? What happened? And why are you like this? Sandra! What? what is it? Talk to us. Why is your face like this? And why are you crying? So we are not going to Dr. Uche's house to collect our money. Which Dr. Uche? Which Dr. Uche are you talking about? The one that was announced there this morning. Oh no! No! He committed to say he killed himself! No, no, don't say What did he just say? How are we going to settle our skin? How? Oh God, this problem is going too much. How are we going to settle? We have to think of something. What was the meaning of that bullshit? You called me on phone telling me that the money that I gave you, you invested in some kind of business and lost it all? Boston is not a lie. It's the truth. Austin, I'm not Austin, please, try and understand. The worst of it all is that the man we did business with, the man called Dr. Uche is in the mortuary right now. As to speak. And how does that concern me? How is that my business? Or do I deal with dead people? I don't understand. Why are you girls like this? You're holding on to my money. You're holding, holding on to my girl. And you're not giving me back any. Why, why are you pushing me to the wall? I only be nice to you girls because of our long-lasting relationship. If not, if it was someone else, I know exactly how to get my money. And by now, I would have gotten it back. See you. By the time I come back here again, you either you give me my money or you give me my girl. If you don't have any of this, 